That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the eternal problems that every one of us are going to face. Every one of us is going to face the opportunity for you to pray for or against God. It is coming. It is coming. There's going to be a time where some of us are going to stand in this pulpit and will blow your minds with what's really going on out here. If we really knew. Because I'll tell you something. When these things take place, nobody's going to have to ask you what you believe. Nobody's going to have to ask you do you believe in the Word of God or not. That won't be the question. The question will be, how much do you believe? Do you believe it enough to go to jail? Do you believe it enough to give up your life over? Do you believe it enough to die for your brother or your sister because of it? This is how serious this is. And this is why from this pulpit we always emphasize every person should be reading your Bible regularly. So we will know what the origin of our faith is. So that we can increase our faith. So that we can increase our love one for the other. So that when we pray, something happens. The power of prayer means when we pray in faith, something will happen. That's what it means. No longer are we just throwing out words. Oh, that sounded nice. Oh, thank you for praying for me. We are praying in faith knowing that when we jump and shout, it's over. Some of us need to shout. See, spiritually, when you shout for joy, you're shouting saying, I love the Lord. I love my brother and sister, and I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 If you ask yourself, when is the last time you shouted for joy? For spiritual joy? When is the last time you shouted to joy that you love the Lord? That you embrace the Sabbath? That you embrace the love you have for your brothers and sisters? When is the last time you've done that? Sometimes maybe we need to just jump up and shout in the church. Amen. I'm not against shouting in the church. If some of y'all want to holler hallelujah, holler it out. Amen. I don't have a problem with that at all. Amen. Because it's faith to faith. Amen. And some of us got some walls that need to come down. Amen. Some of us, you come to church and you can't even hear the word of God because of walls that are in front of you. And we in the congregation look at our brothers and sisters and wonder what can I do? They're in trouble. How can I help? We've got to start tearing down some of these walls. We've got to start believing in faith, one to the other, that we're all headed in the same direction. Amen. And if anybody goes astray, go and get them. It doesn't matter if it's me or if it's you, go get them. We ain't leaving nobody behind. We should love our brothers and sisters in this church enough that if anybody is going astray, we should be able to go get them. We should be able to love them enough and love them right back into the Word of God. That's what this is about. This is what the wall of Jericho was about when it came down. It came down by faith. It came down by believing what the Word of God says. It came down by us acting in obedience to the Word of God. It came down to us loving God enough to believe His way is the best way, is the only way. That's how it came down. One last thing I'm going to say about faith. Sometimes when I preach, it sounds like I'm talking at you. And I'm trying to beat somebody up. But that's not what it's about. Everything I say is in love. Amen. Because I love every one of you. Amen. And I want you all to understand that sometimes when you're under the power of the Holy Spirit up here, we say what God tells us to say. Amen. Amen. So I don't want anybody to beat me up outside. <laughs> That's what he said. And, and, and I'll say this a lot. I really do. I mean what I say. You know. And I want us to understand that we do need to do a little bit more than pray for each other. We need to do a little bit more than, than help each other. We need to truly love each other. Because that's the only way we're going to make it. That's the only way. So when you leave today, love your brother and sister. Do they need help? Do they need, do they need prayer? How many of us have Bible studies with each other? How many of us study God's Word with each other? 
Sometimes we need to get out of our, our rut that we're doing at work every week and come to the Sabbath school. Amen. Don't tell the pastor I was late. <laughs> no. I don't want to get in trouble. But sometimes we need to come to rest. We need to come to the, uh, the Bible study during the week. Amen. We need to show up because we need strength. Amen. Because there's some things happening, I'm telling you, there's some things happening in the world that we need strength. And the only way you're going to be able to sustain your life is to be clear on what you believe. Does that make sense? Yes. The closing song today is 518. 